In MathCAD, you can use the try on error operator in order to trap errors. In other words, prevent them before they even happen. Let's take a look at a scenario. Here I am in a new worksheet. I will start off by defining a function. I will call it f of x. Then I'll use the definition operator. I will use the keyboard shortcut of the colon key. And we'll write our function. It'll be the constant e. And then I'll use shift 6 in order to get the exponent. Let's use the exponent x. I'm going to use the space bar to highlight what I've typed so far. And then divide this by sine of x minus 1. So you can probably figure out where this is going. Let's try evaluating this a few times. Let me move my cursor over here. Let's try f of 0. I'll type in f of 0 and then use the equal sign to evaluate. Okay, that's negative 1, no problem. Let's try f of pi. I'll do f, open parentheses, then the letter p, and control g turns it into the Greek letter, and this will be the constant pi. Let's do equals. Okay. So far, so good. By the way, notice that the pi changed to a dark green color. That indicates that it is recognized as a constant. I'll bring that up in a short while. Okay, let's try another one. You can probably see where this is going. Let's do f of, and I'll do p, control g, and let's divide this by 2, and then do the equal sign. All right. This expression is divided by zero. It cannot be computed. So how can you prevent divide by zero errors or other errors when you are evaluating different expressions? That's where try comes into place. And so let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to create a new function. Let me put my cursor over here. Let's do g as a function of x. And then I will use the definition operator in case you don't know where that is. If you go to the operators drop down, it is right here under definition and evaluation. And again, it is the keyboard shortcut of the colon key. To use the try operator, you go to the programming drop down. The try operator is used a lot in programs, but you can use it directly in a function. Let's choose try. And when I click on that, it automatically adds in the text for try and on error gives you the two different areas where you can specify what you want to do. So in try, you'll put the function that you want to evaluate. And then if there's an error that results, you can give the answer that you want instead. And so up here in the try area in that placeholder, I could type e to the x divided by sine of x minus 1. But I already have the function, so I'm going to take a shortcut and just type in f of x. And then for the other placeholder, I can choose what I want this to be evaluated to in case there is a problem. So in this case, well, dividing by zero, I really want it to have an infinite value. So I will go to my constants, and one of our math constants is infinity. And it's going to evaluate to 10 to the 307th power. So let's choose infinity over here. Now let's try evaluating this a few times. So g of 0 equals, just like before, negative 1. Okay, let's move over. Let's try g of pi, p, control g. This is going to be equal to same value as before. But this time, let's try g of pi over 2, p, control g, divided by 2. This is going to be equal to. 10 to the 307th power. And I want to mention one other alternative that you could use in a situation like this. There is another special variable, in, or actually, it's a constant in MathCAD called not a number. You could use that instead. And so, for example, let me put my cursor over here. Let's do h as a function of x. Then I'll use the definition operator, the colon key. This is going to be equal to, let me go to my programming, and here we have the try operator. The keyboard shortcut is control and the left bracket. But I'll type in try, and let's do our f of x. And then in the other placeholder, I'm going to put in 
capital N, little a, capital N, and then I'll click outside. And I want you to see what happens to the color of NAN when I do that. It changes to that dark green indicating that it is a constant. And if you want to check the value of the constant, well, just type in N, capital N, little a, capital N, and then equal sign. And both of them change color to indicate that they are constants and not a number is equal to not a number. So it's something that you can use instead of using, you know, some text or some value in case you get an error in the function. So let's try evaluating that. Let's just go right to h of pi over 2, p, control g, divided by 2, and then the equal sign, nan, for not a number. So that's how you can use the try operator in order to trap different errors in your MathCAD functions.